All right, so I got a question a couple times about which one you should buy if you have $190 and you wanna spend on a pair of Adidas Boost sneakers. You have the Explorer Boost over here, and this is a really comfortable new model from Adidas. This is probably the most comfortable Adidas Boost model that I've tried on feet. And I've tried on like 50 models, it feels like, through the years of Adidas Boost sneakers, and this is probably the most comfortable ones. This one definitely reminds you of the EQT line, uh, the 9317s or whatever they were back in the day. Uh, that's very similar to the way these feel, but this is actually more squishy, in my opinion, than even those ones were. And this one is definitely the best performing Adidas All Boost model that I've tried on my feet. Not that I'm a performance guy myself, uh, as of yet at least, but this is one of those shoes that uh, is really, really good for running. And I actually use these for running in the treadmill on pretty much a daily basis now. I will tell you as the point of this video for the next couple days, this shoe is actually on sale for 30% off, so you can actually get it for $133. The Light Boost is not included in that Adidas sale right now, unfortunately, so this one is full price at 190 so if price point is an issue and you want something comfortable and soft squishy on feet this is definitely going to be the hands down winner and i'll get more into that in this video as you guys are going to watch but i want to let you guys know from the beginning 133 for the next couple days also anytime either of these go on sale through the year i will be posting them over on my website linked in the description i always post stuff on twitter and instagram and stuff as well so follow me over on social and you guys will know when these things go on sale so the question is not as easy as it might seem like which one should you buy there's a lot of different aspects to the sneaker that you guys may want to consider when you're buying the shoes so hopefully i'll cover some of those differences uh, between these two models in this video the first thing to mention is weight if you're looking for the lightest of the two sneakers the adidas ultra boost light comes in at 10.5 ounces the explorer boost comes in at 15 ounces so five ounce difference these are significantly lighter if you're looking for the most lightweight option for your feet obviously this is going to be the choice if you're looking for the one that has the most soft squishy feel underfoot something that i always love something that the very first pair of adidas ultra boost sneakers that i tried on really set the bar for like soft squishy sneakers <laughs> These are drastically different on feet with squish. The Explorer Boost is by far the softer and squishier of the two options. It is a bunch, a bunch of boost in this midsole here. There's two layers of it and it's sandwiched in between this uh, plastic plate in the middle of the shoe as well. I mean, this thing is massive. The stack is massive on the Light Boost as well. However, it's not near as felt as on uh, this guy over here. So if you want the most cushioning possible and just max cushion sort of vibes, I mean, this gives me sort of vibes of the Invincible Run from the Nike line and I've tried both of them on side by side and this one is a little bit firmer than the Invincible Run but both of them are incredibly soft and squishy on feet. So relaxed fit, squishy feel, this one's definitely a better option for you. Now as for the overall traction on the bottom of the shoes, if you need something with a little bit more then the Explorer Boost is gonna have more. You can see the rubber is a lot thicker. It's a heavier shoe, it's thicker rubber on here. The Ultra Boost Light is definitely thinner, but obviously strategic placement on the pods of traction on the bottom of the shoe because they wanted these to be light. The upper constructions are also very different on both of these shoes. So if you want something with a very, very relaxed fit, something with maximum toe wiggle in your feet, something that's easier to put on, and just abundance of cushioning, then the Explorer Boost is definitely gonna be the option for you. The toe freedom in this shoe is definitely noticeable as soon as you put it on. It kind of reminded me of the Ultra Boost 1.0 where you could just wiggle your toes and you could feel it through the knit. There's not a lot of structure going on there with that. I like to wear my laces really loose and it's very easy for me to get my foot in these sneakers because of the structure of the tongue. Definitely reminds me of the older Ultra Boost, which I really, really like. These pass the no hands test. I could literally just slip them on and go and I love that. You also do have a lot of padding around the heel of the shoe and overall the upper on this thing is very comfortable. On the flip side of things for the Adidas Ultra Boost Light, this is the prime knit upper on the shoe. It is pretty breathable across the toe section of the shoe, but it's definitely a lot stiffer on feet and more form fitting than the Explorer Boost. If you need that extra support for your foot, like this is really nice. It's a lot harder to get on, but once you get them on, you basically have that sock like fit and they're not going to be slipping anywhere. So the overall knit structure is a lot more formal on the Ultra Boost Light, something that some people may prefer over the loose feel and like the extreme comfort of the Explorer Boost. Obviously, when you look at the two shoes side by side the ultra boost light has a lot more curvature to the toe so there's a little bit of a spring back on here and this is reason why because it has the lep system in it you literally press down here and it like jumps you do have a little bit of that in this shoe as well though because of that plastic plate sandwich between the shoe so it's actually a pretty nice feel on feet like the heel toe transitions are really smooth on both of them obviously i really like the heel toe transition of the ultra boost light better just because 
the overall ground feel on this is a bit better because you don't have such crazy cushioning as you do on this shoe. As for the overall style of both of these shoes, I mean, they're definitely both very different as well. This is a bit bulkier, but honestly, when I put them on feet, I really like the way they look. They don't look as bulky as the pictures. Like it feels really good on feet and the overall look, I think looks nice when you relax the laces. And I actually really like this colorway as well. This one is included in the sale where you can get these for 133 bucks right now instead of 190. So if you want this specific colorway, link in the description to buy these. Also, if you are looking in the future and you guys wanna buy these as well, I'll link both of them over to Adidas. If you guys do use my link, it does give me a little bit of a kickback and it greatly supports the channel when you guys do so, so much appreciated. But then the style of the Ultra Boost Lite. Now this is one of those shoes that looks very similar to the Ultra Boost 21, 22, but this is a lighter version. If you like the previous versions, then you'll probably like this one as well. Obviously, it has a really sleek look to the shoe, very futuristic design, huge amount of boost on the butt of the shoe. And overall, I think this is a really stylish looking shoe. It's honestly hard to decide which one I like better because I would say instinctively, I like the Ultra Boost Lite better. However, this random Adidas boost model that I just did not expect just really snuck up on me and I like the execution that they did on these. If you wanna see a full review of these, I already posted one of those, so check that out on my channel. But as you can see, both of these price points are $190 at retail, but they're vastly different on feet. This one's more for the ultra cushioned comfort sneaker, like the one that is just more relaxed fit, casual usage. This is kind of my cup of tea right here, right? This is definitely the vein that I like to go in. But I do like the Ultra Boost line, the Ultra Boost 21s, 22s, and even the Ultra Boost lights have taken me down a different path where I really do appreciate what they offer in the new revised Ultra Boost line. And I like the fact that there is a nice smooth transition when you're walking around in these shoes. I like that I can actually use these for running now. And all in all, like, if I had to choose either one of these for vacation, because I'm gonna be going to Disneyland later this year, I don't know which one I would choose. I honestly might bring both of them because this is one where I'd wear daily. It's easy to walk around in. It's not too soft on feet where your feet might feel a little bit fatigued, but it's also really good just for putting on the miles on the shoe. This is definitely a heavier option, but I really do enjoy the relaxed feel, the relaxed fit that this offers. And this could be the day two shoe if I need a little recovery sort of action for my, my Disney trip or whatever. This is the one that I would probably wear on the second day uh, and maybe even on the fourth day or something like that. But leave a comment in the comment section if you tried one or the other which one do you guys like better? Uh, curious to see what you guys have to say. And hopefully for those people that wanted to see this video, this is for you guys. And if you guys have other suggestions for videos that you guys would like to see, comparisons between some sneakers, leave comments and let me know. I have seen a couple of them in the past that I'm still working on, Asics Gel versus some of the New Balance sneakers as well. Uh, but for this one, I wanted to keep it very specific, head to head between these $290 models from Adidas. Again, if you guys wanna buy either of them, link in the description and the Explore Boost on sale for a very limited time right now, at least uh, I'm surprised that they actually added it back to the sale because they weren't uh, included originally and now they are but anyway have a good rest of the day hopefully we'll see you back on the channel for some more sneaker videos if this video was good drop a like and uh, have a good one see you guys peace